What's up you guys? Welcome back to the vlog for episode 4 of Beat the Recruits. We're going to meet 4 out of the 5 recruits as one of them is unable to be here today. Um, we'll learn a little bit about them, where they're from, and things like that. So without further ado, let's go meet our recruits. Chattel OG, and I was born in Lincoln, but I was raised in Omaha, Nebraska. Uh, Marissa Howarda, I'm originally from Grand Rapids, Michigan, and I now live in Bellevue, Nebraska. My name is Heather Scholl, and I'm from Plattsmouth, Nebraska. My name is Marco Carrillo, and I'm from Sioux City, Iowa. Weird as it sounds, I love cleaning my house. Um, I love tinkering around my house, so it's kind of a distressor for me. I go on runs with my German Shepherd, my two-year-old German Shepherd every day after work, and then I typically play soccer on, on Thursdays in Lincoln at like their sports complex. Keeps me active. Um, I actually like to work out. Um, I like to play with the dog, spend time with the family, go on hikes. Uh, I enjoy slow pitch softball, uh, anything outdoors, hunting, fishing, hiking. Oh yeah, I do ride bikes too. Before I was a police officer, I actually worked for the Bellevue Police Department as an evidence technician. So before becoming a police officer, I worked um, as a security officer at Methodist Hospital. I worked with young adults with developmental disabilities uh, to help them learn independent living skills. Before I, I was a police officer, um, I was a financial service representative at Security National Bank in Sioux City, Iowa. Um, the reason I wanted to become a Bellevue police officer uh, was because I felt um, welcome from the beginning from everybody who I had met initially. Um, everybody was great at communicating. Also, a huge part that um, wanted me to come here is that they were looking for minorities such as myself to serve the community they work in. Uh, during my hiring process, uh, the atmosphere and the support and uh, Chief Clary's advocation for women in law enforcement was a positive impact on my decision of becoming a Bellevue police officer. The reason I wanted to become a Bellevue police officer was because it, it felt like home. Everybody here was so welcoming. Um, Captain Dushinsky and Sergeant Banks, when I first met them, they they made me, it made me feel happy about um, working at Bellevue um, and also the chief. He cares so much for his employees. Um, he really tries to make sure everybody's okay. I talk to him almost every day, so he checks in all the time, which is really great to see. So since I had been working for Bellevue already, I knew this was home. Um, I knew I didn't want to go anywhere else. I wanted to stay with this department. And since I was working here, I was able to see um, the impact that all the other officers have made on the community and I just wanted to be a part of that. My favorite part of the Academy was working and learning alongside uh, officers that I'll be working with on a daily basis, not only from Bellevue but from other agencies as well. My favorite part of the Academy was um, all the other recruits. Um, we're all local, so I know I'm going to work with them out on the road. Um, in that 20 weeks, you really get uh, close with everyone. Uh, you're all put in stressful situations, so you kind of just make this really good bond, and I'm excited to work with everyone. I would say my favorite part about the Academy were the scenarios. Um, I think what they do is they challenge you to a point where you have to keep on going, you have to be confident and you just want to give your best. Um, I would say specifically maybe like the Active Killer or Evoc. I think really you have a fun time in those, but you really, it's a big learning experience as well. Um, my favorite part about the Academy was definitely being able to work with the people in um, the surrounding departments, uh, working with the instructors for the surrounding departments. It gave you a sense of community and you got to know them a lot better. So and when you work with somebody in a different department, you feel comfortable and Awesome, so. 
My least favorite part of the Academy was learning and adapting uh, a work-life balance, not only for myself, but for my family, and recognizing that that's going to be our life for a very long time for my career in law enforcement. My least favorite part about the Academy was all the testing. Um, you went home and you studied, you came back, um, and then you went home and you studied more, so that was the hardest part. Uh, my least favorite part of the Academy was 100% being pepper sprayed. Um, I would say the test taking for sure. I'm not the best test taker, um, but just the anxiety that leads up to an exam, I would say that's the least favorite part of it. My advice would just be prepared to uh, put in the extra work. You're going to have to go home, you're going to have to study. Um, so just be prepared that when you go home, you will be needing to put in extra work still. Um, to be a Bellevue police officer, you have to give 110% in everything that you do because um, everybody here gives 110% and they want you to succeed. Um, so make sure you do that when you apply and you become a police officer here. Um, and the, Some advice I would give to future applicants is that the process is very long. Um, you might get tired of waiting and waiting, but in the end, it's really worth the wait. So. Uh, those that are looking to apply, uh, not only for Bellevue, but for law enforcement in general, um, stay positive and work hard. Uh, be sure you keep an open mind because things are changing every day, not only in law enforcement, but the world as a whole. Law enforcement is a challenging career, and it's definitely a tough decision to make uh, to actually want to become a law enforcement officer. Huskers. Their tailgates are awesome, so <laughs> I don't know. I'm not a Huskers fan, but I like their tailgates. <laughs> um, Huskers for sure. Um, I mean, we might not have the best season, but hopefully we get up there again. Uh, Huskers, born and raised. Huskers, 100%. Husker volleyball, specifically. I'm going to get real specific there. <laughs> Yep, go ahead and cut all that out. <laughs> all right, you guys. Uh, so there's our four recruits that graduated the academy recently. I look forward to seeing what uh, they do out there on the road. So um, if you like this video, please hit that like button. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And go back and watch the other three Meet the Recruit episodes. It's always interesting to see where they start and where they end up over time. So um, anyways, as always, We'll catch you on the next one.